Hello everybody, my name is Sir Rafael and I will be teaching you environmental studies for class 4. Now today we will be continuing the lesson <coughs> on families, right? Now, have you heard of uh, twins and triplets? Peer. Interesting I am, or peer in mutong I am. Yes, sometimes more than one baby grows inside the mother's womb. When two babies grow together, they are called twins. Peer, continue. When three babies grow together, they are called triplets. In animals such as dogs and cats, the mother always gives birth to more than one baby. And fish, birds, frogs and insects lay eggs. Young ones hatch out of the eggs. Birds lay eggs in their nests. The nest is a safe shelter for the eggs. Later, it protects the little birds. Right? So. Now, adoption. We will be learning about adoption. Sometimes, a couple may want to raise a child who is not related to them as their own. The children who have lost their own parents due to various reasons often live in special homes called orphanages or nule pa te ne to lo mo lo boral to te emo emo reason chang chang awang in orphanage a anda china ni orphanages parents have to go through a legal process called adoption to adopt a child these children are called adopted children. Yes. <clears throat> now, parents who have given birth to us are our natural parents, right? So, if, you're, if your mommy and daddy are your natural parents, that means they have given birth to you naturally, right? You, if, if your own parents have given birth to you they are your natural parents now there are times when due to some reason a child may come to stay with another family for some time they are under the foster care of the family where they are staying this means that these children are not legally adopted they usually come to stay for a short period of time right so you may uh, you may know some children who come to stay with the family that are not related with the family right they call this foster care right so our extended family now let's look at the extended family family members who do not live with us are a part of our extended family some examples are our uncles and aunts and their children meaning your cousins right both from the mother's and father's side, are a part of our extended family. Extended family members try to meet during special occasions such as festivals, birthdays and marriages. We may also meet our extended family on happy occasions such as wedding or a birth of a child. We also reach out to them on sad occasions like a death in the family. Thus, we share our joys as well as our sorrows with them. When was the last time you've met your extended family? What do you mean by extended family? Uncles, aunts and your cousins, your grandparents from your mother's side or your father's side. Maybe you will meet them on occasions like weddings and birthdays or festivals such as Christmas or <clears throat> maybe uh, at birth of a child when you have a new brother or sister or new cousin. Right. Also, uh, on sad occasions like a death in the family, right? Uh, during those occasions, our extended family <coughs> comes. Sorry, we meet up and uh, we spend time with together with our extended family, our uncles and aunts and our cousins from our mother's and father's side. Now, on to the next. Yeah, let's look, let's look at that picture. What do you see? That's a wedding, right? That's a Hindu wedding, in case you don't know. It's time for celebrations. It is Amrita's sister's marriage today. All her family members are busy looking at the various arrangements 
and taking care of the guests. Her uncles and aunts living in different cities have already arrived. Amrita's mother and grandmother are busy preparing some traditional dishes. There's a lot of laughing, chatting and commotion all around. Amrita is very excited but also sad as after the marriage her sister will go to a new house. Now moving on to family values and making decisions. Mala loved to watch her great grandmother making pickles and papads. When festivals were around, her great grandmother would start preparing sweets and other dishes, dishes at home. She did not like buying these things from the market. Great grandmother told Mala that she had learned to make all of these things from her mother. I did not go to school. I stayed back at home and learned household chores from my mother, she said. Mala found it very strange that her great grandmother never went to a school. She herself was never allowed to miss school even for a day. Right? Next speech. Well, you see, said great grandmother, sadly, my father believed that girls should not be sent to school. They should stay back at home and learn household chores. After all, this is what girls were supposed to do when they grew up and got married. But as much as I like pickles and papers, I don't want to be doing only this when I grow up. I want to be a photographer or a scientist, said Mala. You have a choice, said great grandmother. But during my time, girls didn't have a choice. They did what the elders decided for them. That night, Mala kept thinking about her conversation. Though she was too young to understand everything, she felt glad that she could always decide for herself by discussing or consulting the elders in her family. Right? So what we learn from here is who makes the decisions in the household. Right? And <clears throat> we grow up with different values in our family. Our family teaches us different values. Right? So let us remember what we learned today. Extended family members meet during the special occasions, right? And what else did we learn today? We learned about adoption, right? Have you, have you, do you remember? Like <clears throat> children who for some reason do not have any mother or father, they live in special houses called orphanages. And then sometimes some families, they adopt these orphans, right? And then they become family members, right? And also, different families grow up with different traditions and values, right? Every family is different and we teach the next generation different, different things, right? So thank you for joining me today for this lesson. Uh, for homework, I would like you to do the exercises A, B and C on page 9 that will be provided in the WhatsApp. Thank you for joining me and I will see you next time. Goodbye.